If you've been to the state fair recently, you've probably walked in the cattle barn and uh, seen all the hair on the cattle that exhibitors are blowing or fluffing up. Or maybe you were in the market lamb barn and saw the big shaggy legs on uh, those big market lambs. Well, why do uh, exhibitors do that and why do breeders um, strive for this new trend in the livestock industry? Well, it makes their animals look stouter featured, bigger boned, and uh, larger bodied. So, uh, growing up showing market lambs, we used to, to give them melatonin pills, thinking that that would grow hair um, on their, on their uh, legs so they'd look more shaggier, bigger boned. Um, so, hello, my name is Blake Foraker. Uh, I'm a sophomore in animal science, and uh, my MythBuster has to deal with melatonin, and does it really grow hair? So the statement that I evaluated uh, was that melatonin supplemented in the diet will increase hair growth in show animals. And so uh, here you can see that the fluffy cow and uh, the uh, new trend in show sheep anyway with uh, really shaggy legs. So there's multiple factors that affect hair growth in animals, and obviously the first uh, being genetics, but looking at some external factors, um, those being temperature, obviously with colder temperatures they're going to grow more hair. Um, nutrition as well, um, an animal that's on a better diet with, uh, and being supplemented uh, with more nutrients is obviously uh, going to grow hair better and have the uh, capabilities to do that. And then also daylight, so as the day length uh, gets shorter, animals are going to grow uh, more hair because that resembles uh, them going into winter, so obviously during summer months because of the heat, um, and then also because of the long days, they're not going to grow as much hair, which consequently runs into a problem because that's uh, prime show season for a lot of exhibitors. So I looked at two different studies uh, to evaluate this statement, um, and the first has to do with fur growth in mink, and uh, I feel that this is very applicable to any livestock species, even though we are dealing with mink here. Uh, but mink have seasonal fur growth cycles, just like many other species, um, and so they obviously are going to grow more fur uh, going into the winter months as that's the prime trapping season. So that's why we, we trap mink in the winter and, and in the snow. Um, and so initiation of shedding is, is right before this period. So then they'll grow a new lush, very dense coat. Um, and then, like, like it says, regrowth of denser winter fur occurs um, at that point. And so what this study evaluated was how um, if, if mink were supplemented with melatonin prior to uh, their, their normal growth, fur growth season, um, and if they were supplemented earlier on, if that would help enhance the fur growth. Um, and as you can see through the, the chart, it dramatically did um, uh, on 5 and 10 milligram doses of melatonin. And these were actually done through implants uh, put on the, the shoulder of the animal. And so um, weight was also evaluated to see if there was any changes in uh, growth or performance of the mink, and, and there was no um, evidence showing that. The second study that I evaluated had to do with uh, feeding cattle melatonin, um, and this was done by Oklahoma State University. Um, and as you can see, they weighed uh, hip and shoulder um, hair at different weeks of treatment, um, and significant amounts of growth compared to the controls uh, of those that were given melatonin. Also, again, they evaluated if there was any difference in uh, weight gain, um, and as you can see, there, there was not. So how does it work? Uh, melatonin is synthesized from an essential amino acid, tryptophan. Um, it's uh, a natural hormone uh, secreted by the pineal gland and increased secretions during darkness, obviously because, uh, because it is dark, it's usually going to be telling the animal that it's colder, so they need to grow more hair. And then uh, it also regulates the internal clock in the body. Um, that's just another function uh, of this hormone secreted by the pineal gland. And so in conclusion, uh, I did find that increases in melatonin in the diet and supplementing melatonin will enhance hair growth. Uh, now, some issues that we might run into it uh, with the livestock industry is, has to do with consumption. And so like I mentioned beforehand, we used to feed our lambs uh, melatonin pills. Well, uh, we did run into an issue where that uh, was not very feasible because they, you know, they would uh, pick them out if they didn't like them. They don't really have much of a taste. Um, so they're, they're not uh, very desirable or palatable. And so there are, are some different products on the market to help make melatonin more palatable. There's some, uh, some drenches and some liquids uh, to give animals. There's also, like I mentioned, with the mink implants um, that a lot of people use in the cattle industry um, that they put in the ears. Now, there are some side effects to melatonin. As I mentioned, it does regulate the internal clock, so uh, it can make animals sleepy and tired um, uh, throughout the day uh, when they might not normally be because uh, of their internal clock and because of the melatonin affecting that. So uh, with that being said, uh, melatonin does have an uh, increase in hair growth, um, and uh, so my myth is false.